Howdy everyone, my name is Stephanie Denson. I am with Texas A&M University Dining. Uh, we typically do these videos in person where I have member members of my team from both our chefs and our management where we come and tell you all about um, our dining program, not only for the Corps of Cadets, but as well around campus. But obviously we're doing things a little differently this year. So I will be covering all these topics um, today to kind of answer some questions that uh, you might be getting about uh, being a Corps and how uh, being a Corps of Cadet and what options do you have as well as about your meal plan, uh, Duncan Dining Hall. We're also will cover uh, anything anyone who has special diets, uh, job opportunities, as well as um, our safety measures are around campus. So those are the main topics I'm going to cover today. Uh, please visit our website, which is dining.tamu.edu. Uh, that is a great resource not only for a core student, but for any student who wants to understand our meal plans um, and any details. Or please reach out to us if there's anything that I didn't cover today that you have questions on, because we want to make sure we answer them. So the first thing I want to talk about is Duncan Dining Hall. Many of you re uh, watching this have probably already visited this location. Uh, this is a long tradition for the Corps of Cadets to have chow inside Duncan, um, and you will be able to continue that tradition, of course, uh, this upcoming year and more years as you contend continue with the Corps. Uh, our menus are designed to fuel you and have um, offerings of both healthy as well as comfort food, depending on your diet. Uh, we are still working closely with the Commandant's Office to determine how those formation meals will be um, due to the pandemic and um, all of our safety measures due to COVID-19. So uh, more information will be shared with you as we get closer um, to students returning to campus, uh, but Duncan will still be an option for students in the fall and they still will be able to have meals, uh, breakfast, lunch, and dinner in this, inside this facility. Uh, all of our menus for Duncan, as well as our other dining halls, Sabisa and Commons, for all the menus, you can go to our website that I already mentioned, dining tamu.edu as well as you can download the dine on campus app um, i'm gonna say that again dine on campus if you download that it is a uh, black d uh, with a little leaf next to it on the app store it's free you select texas a&m you're able to get all of our menus for the location and you can check menus for days in the future as well so you can be in your dorm room let's just say you have a break for lunch and uh, since you do not have your required formation meals inside duncan uh, during in those days uh, you are able to see what's on the menu at commons for the day so you can decide if you would rather go to commons for lunch or if you want to go over to the MSC and go to revs and get a burger and sweet potato fries something like that so uh, please uh, download that app so you can check the menus uh, it has the different stations on there and um, that is also integrated with the my fitness pal app so this is great for core students who want to track um, their the, their food that they're eating and on campus you have options to be able to do that so you can search Duncan in the My Fitness, um, My Fitness Pal app and get those on that app as well as it, uh, it does filter in, the, the Dine on Campus app does filter into the health app on um, iPhones as well. So a uh, really great resource there with the Dine on Campus app as well as our website dining.tamu.edu. Um, I did want to mention that if you, since you are going to be living in the quad, we do have to-go meal options this uh, this fall that are starting to be available both on both. We've, we've had them previously in Southside, so any um, upperclassmen will know that we've had the to-go meals from the dining hall inside Southside Market. We are now replicating that on the north side. We are converting the Aggie Express from the underground to north side market. So if you'd like to get a to-go meal from Sabisa, that's where you would go, and you'd be able to use. Uh, your meal swipe from your meal plan there. So that is a little bit of an overview about Duncan. Uh, more to come as we're finalizing the changes for this upcoming school year, um, but that is going to be where primarily you, this, the Corps of Cadet student will eat most of their meals. Uh, and we want to make sure that we get in touch with any students that have any special diets, whether that is for a, um, an allergy or if it is um, if you're a vegan or vegetarian, any whether it's personal or if it's health related, uh, we want to get in touch with you because we want to make sure that we can have one-on-one -on -one consultations with students to help fulfill your needs specifically in the march and meals but outside of those um, outside of uh, march and meals the formation meals as well uh, who you will contact will be our executive chef mark cruz and our uh, campus dietitian our 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 dietitian who works for the dining office. Uh, her name is Shanika Moses, and um, I will provide both of their emails to you. It is also on that website. If you wanna go to the staff page, all of the emails are listed there. And uh, for those 
So if you have a special diet, we want you to have these one, free one-on-one -on -one consultations uh, with our chef and our dietitian so that we can make sure that we can fulfill your needs for your diet um, when you're on campus as a part of it. Um, as a student who has a meal plan on campus, we wanna make sure that we can, um, we can, have, we can have items available that fit your needs. So uh, our dietitian is also available to discuss any weight or nutrition goals with students. Um, this is particularly um, available to core members because of um, your workout regimen and your diet. So she can talk with anyone who needs to gain weight, who needs to lose weight, who needs to maintain. Um, she is someone, uh, Shanika Moses is her name, that she can work with uh, members of the core and kind of walk them through our dining locations or just talk about what options we have across campus that can help, um, help with your goals for this year. We also want to get you in touch with our management team at Duncan Dine Hall specifically. Uh, we have uh, David, who is the chef there, and Elaine, who is one of the managers. And uh, they want to be uh, on a first name basis with our students so that we can make sure that um, you're getting the appropriate information about what is in the um, any ingredients. If there's any question, let's say if you're allergic, um, if you're allergic to gluten, if you have ever have any questions about um, what is being served at Duncan, those are the two people that you're going to look for. So we want to make sure that we can put you in contact with the right people. So um, that is David in the lane. We, really the full summary of this is if you, um, we want to get in touch with you if you have a special diet or any type of um, different uh, special diet or allergy so that we can, um, we can make sure that we have options available for you. Next, I'm going to talk about meal plans a little bit. So as you know, as a Corps of Cadet member, you are required to have a meal plan both fall and spring semester. Uh, this is going to be the same as has been in the past. You have three meal plan options. Uh, the difference between the three is the number of meal swipes. We call them block meals sometimes. So there's the block 240 is the biggest, um, block 200, and the block 165. So uh, you can select which one of those, and then you also can um, select an amount of dining dollars that goes with that, either 300, 400, or 500. So uh, you can select whatever one works best for you. Some students like to have more meal swipes because they um, like to eat more outside of their marching meals, but uh, if you prefer not to eat on campus outside of your marching meals, you can select one of the lower meal plans that we have available. Uh, this will we will be operating this fall that way that we've done in the past, where all marching meals will be deducted at once at the beginning of the semester. So uh, we are still configuring what that number of marching meal is with the commandant's office. It will be over 100 marching or formation meals. Those are the same things. So if you hear me say marching or formation, that's what I'm talking about. It means the required meals that you're supposed to eat together as the core inside Duncan Dining Hall. So that uh, the number of formation meals will be automatically deducted from your meal plan and it will be over 100. So if you select the block 165 with 165 meal swipes, 100 of those will automatically be deducted at the beginning of the semester because those are set aside for your March of meals. And the reason we do that is because when you go into those facilities for those required meals, we're not swiping your card as you come in. So that's how we keep track of it. So um, I hope that makes sense. Please reach out to us if there's any questions on that. Um, but you do have time to change your meal plan uh, or to downgrade or to upgrade. We do have um, the way you do that if you go to the meal plan portal at mealplans.tamu.edu. Um, that is where you select your meal plan. That is where you change your meal plan. That is where you want to see your balance, which I'll go into in just a second. Um, so you might want to go ahead and bookmark that on your page. Uh, so the way you could, if you just, let's say you get the uh, block 165 and you get your marching meals deducted, but you're gonna need some more meals to get you through the end of the semester. Uh, what you can do is you would have, um, you're able to upgrade to that, uh, one of the two larger meal plans if you would like to, and you would just pay the difference to get those extra meals added to your account. Um, but there's an opposite where if you start with 165 and you realize you have too many meals left over, you're still able to downgrade. So those dates uh, for those deadlines, September 18th, which is a full month into the semester, uh, is the down downgrade deadline. So you have to go in and change your meal plan by September 18th um, to downgrade and you have until October 23rd to upgrade. We will be sending emails out to students. We'll be posting on our Facebook page, website, social media. We will have signage in dining facilities. So uh, to remind students of these dates, but um, if you are taking notes right now, I would write down September 18th is downgrade and then October 23rd is upgrade. And where you go to change that is at mealplans.tamu.edu. If you ever have any problems, either message us on our Facebook page or email us from our website and we can definitely help you out with that. So if you have issues going through that portal, it's also through the Howdy portal, uh, we can cover that with you in addition to the other pieces. 
Uh, so I talked about those different pieces of the meal plan. So those meal plans I mentioned come with a set number of meal swipes and a set number of dining dollars. The meal swipes are designed to be used at our dining hall. So one swipe at the front means that you can eat at any dining hall. So let's say for lunch, you wanna come over to Sabisa over on the north side of campus. You can um, swipe your card at the front and that takes off one, out of your meal swipe bucket. Uh, for dining dollars, that's like having a debit card on your Aggie ID that is dollar for dollar. So if something is on the menu, um, let's say you go to Smash Burger, which is right next to where I'm looking right now. If you go to Smash Burger and you want to get a milkshake at Smash Burger, they have great Hagen dazs milkshakes. You can um, pay, let's say the price is um, about $7, let's say, because it's one of the larger ones, um, a, a Hagen dazs milkshake, you swipe your card and that amount comes from, from your dining dollars. You're paying exactly what's on the menu. Um, you're not taxed because you already paid the tax up front. So that explains the meal swipes and the dining dollars. And this is, the next piece is brand new for fall 2020. So if you are an upperclassman, I want you to pay attention to this um, so you can make sure you understand the changes. So we have something new this semester called a retail swipe, meaning that we allow you the flexibility to convert the meal swipes that I just mentioned. You're able to use those in retail outlets around campus. The reason we do that is because we understand if you go to your favorite place every single day, you're gonna want a few more, just a little more flexibility and convenience, right? So it can get kind of daunting if you go, to, even if it's your favorite restaurant, if you go there um, three times a day, five days in a row, it can be a lot. So we wanna give you a little more flexibility and convenience. So previously we had something that we called a meal trade, meaning that you would go to a place and they'd have a set combo that you could get as your meal trade. So instead of using that meal swipe in the dining hall, you would get something like that at a retail location. Now we've switched to something called a retail swipe. What that means is that uh, now it is a to an equivalency value instead of that set combo. So it opens up more options on the menu that you can select and a little more conven convenience on how what you can get and when. So an example of this is if you go to Chick-fil-A, so Chick-fil-A has continued to be a retail swipe location. Uh, you can get anything on the menu up to $7.50 for one, so it's called a real retail swipe because you're converting one of your meal swipes to a retail swipe. So if you wanna go to Chick-fil-A and you wanna get their grilled market salad and a drink, and um, that's, that's let's say that is $7.40. I'm, I'm not sure that's 100% the price, but let's just say that's what it is. You would swipe your card and that's what you would get um, for your meal swipe. So previously you only had, with Chick-fil-A, you only had the chicken sandwiches, grilled chicken, and then the nuggets, uh, but now we've opened it up to more options. So the flexibility of this, you could go to Chick-fil-A and get two milkshakes and a side of fries as your meal swipe, and that's up to you. That is a student choice. Um, we recommend you to use it as a, to get a meal. And of course, as a core cadet, you wanna make sure that you're eating healthy and not multiple milkshakes and fries. Uh, but I do wanna tell you just how you can use this. So one of the main differences is that the way this works with the retail swipe is you get one of these per day. So now uh, you are able to convert one of your meal swipes per day to a retail swipe up to the $7.50 value. So let's say if anything is over $7.50, let's say you went to Revs and whatever you ordered there was an $8 total, um, $7.50, $7.50 would cover your meal swipe and then the 50 cents, the cashier will either ask you if you'd like to pay out of your dining dollars or if you'd like to pay with cash and credit. So that is completely up to the student how they can decide um, how they wanna do that and how they wanna budget for the semester. Uh, we, the most the, the retail swipe is made for convenience and uh, flexibility. The most value for your uh, for your for your uh, what are they called meal swipes is going to be in the dining hall because that's an all you care to eat facility. So I do want to mention that uh, also your dining dollars can also be accepted at any place that accepts a retail swipe. So uh, let's say if you want to go Chick Fil A and decided to use your dining dollars instead of your meal swipe. That is okay too. Um, so it is up to the student how they use it. It is diff different, um, different levels of convenience and flexibility and how they can use those there. If a student would like more flexibility with their meal plan, they are able to select a bonus retail swipe add-on on our website. Um, the cost is $99. Per every, any meal plan can select this. Any meal plan that includes meal swipes can select this, and they would have the option to convert two of their meal swipes per day to the retail swipes. This would be for somebody who would like to go more to retail outlets like, um, like Chick-fil-A, Houston Street Subs, Reds, 
Jason's Deli, any place like that, um, where if you want to have more retail concepts instead of going to a dining hall, uh, that's someone who would want to take advantage of buying that um, second bonus, this, the bonus retail swipe for the semester. So uh, I do want to reiterate, uh, going to these retail concepts, you're still able to go using your dining dollars, so maybe you want to add more dining dollars to your account instead and just pay the dollar for dollar value. Uh, but the way our meal plans are put together is that the meal swipes are designed for the dining hall and the dining dollars are designed for everywhere else for all of your retail concepts. So if there are any questions on that, I know it can be a lot, especially can explain in this short um, format, uh, but I want to make sure that you understand how our retail swipes work for this fall, as well as, um, as well as the bonus retail swipe component if you'd like to make your meal plan more flexible. We also added more locations to the number of retail swipe locations that we have. I am sitting here today inside Copperhead Jacks, which is in the Sabisa complex. It is a uh, Southwest concept where you can get, um, Southwest Tex-Mex type concept, where you can get build your own burritos, bowls, um, salads and tacos and this is very similar to like a uh, like a chipotle if you're familiar with those uh it's like that but with more options more different different toppings uh more proteins so you kind of go down the line and so it's really customizable and portable for a student where they can take it and either sit down in these locations to eat um or they can get it to go and they can walk out the door uh, with their food. So uh, Copperhead Jacks and Smashburger, both on the upper level of, um, of the Sabisa complex, will be retail swipe locations for fall, starting fall 2020. Previously, they were not available um, in any of the other springs. Um, you were only allowed to use dining dollars at these locations, which you still can do. But now if you would like to use that $7.50 for your retail swipe at these locations, you're able to do that. Um, this is a, a way for us to obviously provide more options for students, crowd control, um, social distancing, things like that. Just providing more options, giving people more places that they can go and redeem those meals. So, uh, so if you have any um, questions about what other locations are available for retail swipes, it's all the ones that were previous. Uh, so if you are a fish watching this, it's, it's Chick-fil-A, Houston Street Subs, which is like our version of Subway, Papa John's, Revs, uh, in, the, in the new MSC that we've renovated, we have another Tex-Mex concept called Cabo. We have uh, Panda Express downstairs after 4 p.m. does accept a retail swipe. Uh, we have a new place called uh, Palm and Honey, which is a Mediterranean concept where you can build your own uh, grain bowls, uh, super green salads, pita wraps with tons of different proteins there and toppings like couscous and hummus and uh, tzatziki sauce. So uh, another kind of build your own concept that is really popular with our students. So uh, you can use your retail swipe at all those locations that I listed, but we do have a page on our website that lists every single one so you know um, other than going to the dining halls where you can have more flexibility with your meal plan. All right. So I've covered meal plans and how that works with the retail swipes. Uh, one thing I did want to mention is how you keep up with how many meal swipes you have as well as how many dining dollars you have. So previously the way we always do this is that on your um, receipt, every time you get a receipt on the bottom it will have the balance for whatever tender you use that day. So if you went into the Aggie Express inside the Commons, which only accepts dining dollars, when you get your receipt you're going to have your balance for dining dollars at the bottom. So that is one way to keep up with the budget. Uh, anytime you go into a dining hall, they'd have that uh, on, the, on the receipt as well. But what is new for this semester is at that website that I keep mentioning where you can select and change your meal plan, mealplans.tamu.edu, that is where now you can uh, view your balance as well as your spending history. So this, the spending history is what's new. So now you can log in there and you wanna see, okay, where did I use my um, meal swipes this week? Where did I use my, uh, where did I use my dining dollars? It's kind of like a big statement online, so you can keep up with it that way. So, um, and anywhere that you use your retail swipe will be under the meal swipe balance, if that makes sense. So remember that the whole point of a retail swipe is you are converting one of your meal swipes to be able to use at different locations. So, um, so let's say you start with the block uh, 200 and the first place you went and go used your meal and you went to Revs to go get, use your retail swipe, when you get your receipt, the balance would say um, 199, if that makes sense. All right, uh, next I wanted to mention that if you are looking for a job, we have several opportunities available for the Corps. Uh, our uh, Director of Operations, 
Don Koshis. He works very closely with cadets every single year. He's usually in this presentation where he can kind of give you an overview of what he's looking for. He is over all the dining halls, several retail concepts around campus, and works closely with the catering team as well. Uh, he is able to hire cadets in two hour increments throughout the day. So if you are wanting to make a little bit extra money, um, just in two hour increments, this can be um, as early as four, like four to six in the morning, or between um, like six and eight at night, four to six at night, uh, can help work in, inside our dining, work in Duncan specifically, so you would not have to walk far, far from your, from, from the quad, um, but the other options available for students as well. So this is a great way to earn extra money, uh, add more experience to your resume, and just find something that we understand your schedule is very hectic being a core member and a student. So uh, like I said, two hour increments, and I will provide his email address and with you so you can make sure you contact him and email him directly. And he will just, all you need to tell him is that I'm a core cadet and I'm interested in working. Um, you don't even have to tell him your hours yet, but he will give you all the information that you will need. Um, we love hiring core members as well as for our um, any of our catering events that we have. We know it's going to look a little bit different for this fall with um, all of our safety measures for COVID-19, but um, we still will have catering events where we have cadets work and we work with your schedule we work around all your workouts or any programming that you have as a part of the course so please reach out to us we'd love to have you on our team and we just want to see where you'd be the best fit and where we um, where we can fit into your schedule all right lastly uh, I did want to talk uh, very quickly about our safety measures of course this is our top priority uh, moving forward as students and students and faculty and staff come back to campus our top priority is to get um, to, to keep everyone safe and healthy this upcoming year so we have a full page on our website which has about 12 bullet points of our um, an overview of our safety measures that we're having on campus uh, we I'll just give you a summary of those so if you want to go read every single one please do that because we want to make sure that you understand um, how seriously we're taking this not only for our guests for our associates as well uh, all of our locations we have changed the uh, floor plans for seating to a to accommodate uh, all, any state of Texas uh, capacity requirements as well as uh, social distancing so we've worked closely and changed seating at any location that has seating any for food court type area like at the Memorial Student Center or at the underground food court of course our dining halls as well I am sitting inside Copperhead Jacks and they've changed the seating in here all of our queuing will be social distance. We have uh, plexi shield barriers at all of our registers. Our dining halls will now be cashless. Um, most of you, as core, you will have your um, your meal plan on your Aggie ID. That is kind of your key to all dining on campus. But um, to protect our associates, we have changed our dine, all three of our dining halls to be cashless for this upcoming year. Uh, we are have enhanced our cleaning, sanitizing, and disinfecting procedures uh, throughout the day as well as full cleanings when we're closed, a full disinfectants when we're closed. Uh, we will have hand sanitizers at least um, we'll have we'll have hand sanitizers at every single location depending on the size of the location we'll have more than one um, we're, we're evaluating that depending on size but uh, I just really want you to know that uh, to please look over our safety measures because we have been working diligently uh, since the start in March to make sure we have a plan in place uh, for where we are right now as well as if we have to adjust to all to go which is what we did at the uh, after March um, after spring break last year if we have to adjust to all to go um, or if we're able to um, change any restrictions moving forward please know that we are um, we are working very hard to uh, working with um, top university officials that we are uh, keeping our unit our students and our associates safe during this time so that is a wrap up of my video here. I've talked about Duncan Dining Hall, our other dining halls on campus, our meal plans, special diets, hiring, and um, a little overview of our safety measures. And I really do appreciate your time. And I know that this was a lot of information in a sh somewhat short amount of time. So please reach out to us. We love having one-on-one -on -one communication with you to clarify anything that you uh, are a little confused about. Uh, but we hope that you are enjoying your um, the FOW week or for returning freshmen, we are, I mean, excuse me, returning upperclassmen. We're so happy you're back. Uh, we wanna make sure that we provide a great college experience for you despite our environment during this time. Um, we hope you have a really great week and uh, we will see you very soon.